This will be episode 170, cycle 2888 and onward. Yo, shave real quick. Gotcha, Oh, man. Happy New Year, everyone, by the way, for on YouTube. Um, for anyone wondering, this and 169 and probably the rest that gets recorded this week uh, will be going up on Friday to the best of my abilities. So if anyone is wondering why there's a massive backlog of, aux of Auctionaut included episodes when you guys see this on Friday or Saturday, that is pretty much why. <laughs> and yeah, as I have said on stream multiple times, um, episode 169 really didn't want to upload before the end of the year. So there was that. <laughs> No matter what I did, it didn't want to do it. So, yeah. But, uh, episode 170 for today, we're recording it on 1.8 to 1.9. So, there's that. Just want to make sure I preface this for the YouTube video itself. Yeah, tonight we'll probably go for maybe two and a half hours, maybe three. Um, mostly a lot of the stuff that we have left to do is a lot of waiting. And I did promise at the beginning, all that time ago, that we would stream and record all of it. I may need to break that promise only for when we have to wait for what's coming. It's a maybe. I don't know if we will need to do it, but if we end up skipping periods where I just say, screw it, it's not worth putting up an episode for it, and we'll just skip portions, I may do that. I will not skip portions when saving for the time lapse. I did want to get it up before Christmas and New Year's. Way too much work came in. It was it was physically and feasibly impossible for me to pull it off. So for anyone wondering about that one, the reason that this playthrough was not finished last year was because way too much commission work. I did six different commissions over over December and then two of which I finished before, right before New Year's as an emergency commission, and I've got one lined up right now that I'm working on. I did get out a new emote. I also have three bases that I put together this week. Well, actually, sorry, last week. So from January 1st to January 7th, when I built new frames that I'm going to be using for some new animated work. I don't really know if I will be able to get that plugged into YouTube, but, I mean, again, none of this is monetized on YouTube. This is literally just a, this is the stream, this is the Oxygen episode series, and I just put it up on YouTube. So, for anyone wondering about that, that's the current situation. I doubt I will ever see uh, my YouTube ever get monetized, mostly just because... Well, even if I did tutorials for Action Included and other series that we do here on the channel and here on Twitch, I don't really know if that would fit anyone's fancy. And also, I do this as a hobby, so no clue. But, once the game is properly loaded, we can get started. We need to make sure we load on main base. I want to make sure all of the planetoids are properly loaded. We did have a hotfix. Uh, a little bit before New Year's. I want to make sure that nothing exploded. Again. Everybody's out and out. Load in on main base. Everything's got a render. A lot of moving parts in this base at this point. Earl, welcome back. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just booting up the entire playthrough. What are you guys doing? You one, but you're fine. Okay, okay. So, for reference, go to point summary. I think we have a limited list of things to do. Mostly, cosmic archaeology is going to be slightly a pain in the butt, but not the worst thing in the world. We can get everywhere, we can, uh, you know, we gotta get through the lava world. And then the gassy moves are going to lag us to hell, but not much I can do about that. We'll just have to work around it. But uh, Great Escape, we already have the rift open. We can send anyone that we want there at any point 
Uh, honorary Directorate, I need to finish that. Critter Whisper, we have Gassy Moo left. Just expected. Moving on up, same thing. Carnivore, we were unable to do so because of the map seed all that time ago. There was anything in the last patch that would change gameplay? It's not the changing gameplay, it's the bugs that were actually possibly added. So, there's a possibility shit could explode. <laughs> Every time we've had a hotfix, something goes terribly wrong. <laughs> so I'm just used to it at this point. Uh, finally tuned will take about five seconds, so I put in a tuning device inside of our normal machinery zone. Uh, down the hatch will... Actually, that probably won't take that long. Yeah, I, just, I don't really trust the hotfixes anymore, because a lot of the times when they do a hotfix, big updates normally have a lot of fixes, and any bugs that happen during hotfixes are normally fixed on big updates. So if a hotfix goes wrong, it normally takes them about like a week to two weeks to get it fixed, unless it is like absolutely crashing people's bases. But Clyde's pretty good about it. They're, they will always end up fixing stuff, but yeah. And yes, this is the bigger problem that we have right now, is getting the last remaining mutant plants. Mostly I need to get the Nashreen back. And that's really about it. Everything else I can reproduce... Pretty easily. Oh, and the gas grass. Well, that'll happen automatically because of how, where gas grass is located. So that's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's really the Nosh Sprout that I need to worry about. I think everything else is fine. And yes, we do have one in here. I don't remember if the dupes have left alone. Yes, they did. Yeah, we've got three of them to work with. All I need to do is freeze this area out again, and then we're good to go. I really don't want to put it here because it will just die instantly. <laughs> because the radiation is too powerful. Uh, oh well. One of those, yeah, we'll just shove it next to the particle accelerator. It'll be fine. <laughs> For the most part. Uh, let's see. We finished everything, but I just need the material science. I need to do one more launch. Yeah, Bucket, can you get over here real quick? We might as well finish it off. I kind of keep, I mostly just pushed it to the side because we didn't need it at all. <laughs> so it's like, eh. Might as well finish it for the first stream of the year. Or auction not included, anyway. Okay, bucket. Up oh, the atmosphere you go. No food, right? My fire when ready. Isn't really going to do anything, but this was a play. I think this might be either the, the last launch or the second to last launch that we actually need to do. Hence why I've been holding off on doing it. Off they go. Okay, uh... That's fine. We have another pip somewhere in here. I didn't actually check to see if anything is phased through any walls or anything, but I think we're okay. I didn't get any random radiation warnings or anyone being sucked into a floor, so that's normally a good sign. <laughs> I'm so used to so many weird things with this game. <laughs> it was just like, I just go to my checklist of, did anyone phase through anything? No. Do we have any weird scalding warnings because no one put on a suit? No. Uh, somehow there's a pip over here, but I don't know how that happened. Uh, just wrangle him, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm just loading. Eh. Mark. Alrighty then. That one makes sense because we were sending steam through it, but uh, I don't know on the rest of it. Just 
Still cooling that down. It'll take a while for that one to finally be reasonable again. I allowed too much dirt in. Vacuum. Good. I do need to make more glass because we need to be getting in preparation for heading over to the water world. There's that. Temperature needs to stabilize. That's pretty good. And I think the main base is doing just fine. Uh, I probably should check water. The backup storage container good. That's we're outputting more than enough water. I don't need to worry about that right now. How about you guys? Two containers. Start prepping everything again. Ah, soon. A lot of it is just everything is soon. <laughs> uh, these. We can just leave those in there for now. Oh, actually, no. This one I cannot. Yeah. This one cannot be left alone. Can't. Well. I'm gonna need another grabber here. This one will get this one and this one. No, I th I actually think I can leave the doors. Need to get rid of the lockers. They're kind of in the way of building natural tiles here. Probably also stop sending copper over. Hey, Infest. Welcome. I should say, welcome back. <laughs> uh, pretty sure we stopped sending everything. Want to make sure? Yes. Okay. We'll get all those natural tiles built and get everything else nice and sorted here. Really need to sort out this blob of space that we're just not using. Helen is doing just fine. Probably need to deal with the but how did you guys get out? Huh? Weird but okay. Well, they're over there, so it's not a big deal. Pressure, 177 kilograms. Yeah, not good. <laughs> uh, temperature is not warm enough either. Steam causing another problem again. Yep. Actually, put it too hard here. Okay. Let's see. Shouldn't see any more steam down there, so this should just be able to run for a while. If it gets caught again, then we'll just have to unstuck it again. You guys doing? Ah, oh, you're doing fine. Take our blueprints real quick. And what do we get? Basic aqua gloves. Okay. Get the next one. Oh, into the void. 
last one. Yeah, my Valor Jump. Weird one, but okay. The plan boiler is working just fine. The lock up. Things currently running. Temperature is all fine. Next dormant season cycles. all work pretty reasonably. Uh, we are running low on petroleum now. Enough. I still cannot believe that they changed puffs this much. <laughs> I should say squeaky puffs. Because uh, if anyone goes back and watches the previous episodes, uh, yeah, their ability to procreate has... Uh, quadrupled <laughs> it would appear oh man actually ridiculous they're putting out so many extra eggs it's not even funny okay i don't think i want to plasticize the entire bottom of this base not needed but it's one of those kind of feels like it is <laughs> moments uh Probably should cool this area down at some point more efficiently than what we're currently doing. Actually need to move more super clone over here to do that. Probably on the list of stuff to do. Let's see, when are you gonna get stuck again? Yep. Okay, okay. Run that for a little while. So we lose a little bit of steam. We are processing about, yeah, two kilograms per second. If we lose a little bit, no harm, no foul. And it's all being ejected out anyway, so. No biggie. Let's see. Ripola. How are we doing on the water? It's really the only one that actually worries me because there's not really an effective way of producing enough water for the planet. So I need to ship it in. Because natural gas guys are... I mean, it's an okay process, but... Not amazing. <laughs> it's a workable solution for a tiny amount of water. Most of it is used as a byproduct anyway. It's an okay process. I may end up switching over to algae uh, processing to offset some of the oxygen requirements. Just because we are technically producing it as a byproduct. Or I could just directly continue to feed all of our Paku, but that really is only for food. Nope, oh, temperature problem. Ah, uh, it's got too cold. Just slightly. Yeah, well, it should be okay. I still feel like I need a better source of polluted oxygen. And we could technically process the energy off of the hot polluted oxygen vent. It's just kind of... Meh. <laughs> like, like, it's an okay process. It's just very meh.
As I could add an actual system over here on the left to deal with this thing. It's 500 degrees centigrade. It's pretty rough. Especially in oxygen. Like with water, it's not really that big of a deal, but one of those things where I'm like. Technically, it would require doing the old double door trick. I've been processing the heat from this into another system. I'm not saying I really, we really do this. Ah. I could actually have to touch one of these things. If I could help it. Direct transfer. Eh. Yeah. That's great. Should be able to handle most of the situation. Should be plenty of space. We need. Yes, yeah, so this actually doesn't need to be insulated. Enough. Only the initial door does. times I have to build one of these. Never really feels right building it. Mm. I don't think one will be able to handle it. It'll be pushing it considerably. Let me just make sure there's enough space for two. Tuner. Uh, we need the output. There's only 500, right? It was better than this. None of diamond yet. That should be fine. Gold doesn't melt until a thousand, so this will never hit that point. Uh, this will be our steam box. Primary cooling will be here, and the transfer cooling will be here. We're going to get super coolant, so I can do whatever I want. Keep it gold. Do we want to use super coolant or do we just want to use Building this light. Uh, yeah. 
Comes a reminder, I'm building this thing, I'm building it with petroleum, and I'm like, no, no, we can just use super coolant. I can directly cool straight into it and not care. <laughs> like, never mind, hold up. Petroleum, you actually have to properly balance the thing and then transfer the temperature directly and then just vent it out normally. And then this will keep this polluted oxygen around 124. Whereas, if I do it with super coolant, we can do even further below that, and I can probably push this down to, like, 20. Yep, still blocked up, by the way. It's, uh, this tile right here. Now we can technically super cool the heck out of this thing, so... Everything's prepped. Output will go there. Hmm, I want the... Well, if we keep it at a reasonable temperature, that should be fine. Uh, oh, sure we need... Yeah, we need a pressure sensor on this side, and a cooling temperature check on this side. This can all be opened up. This system itself needs... There gold up the top, it's fine on that front. Yep. <laughs> Saw that coming. Eh, that'll be fine. Okay. So, ooh, we need... Doing the output there. Do I want to do the old one too? Yeah, do the other one. So we that's right here. And I need an AND gate. Yeah. Bigger issue. Where do we want to put the thermal sticker? Where do I just shove it there? Obviously, we can't really pull that, so... It doesn't really matter where I put it, now that I'm thinking about it, because we're going to be using super coolant, so... I just mostly want to need it... Oh, I need it so I can read off the temperatures. Oh, he's getting radiation sickness. Is down with the bees. Anybody? Weird. You guys exposed up here? Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Forty two data bank. I could can probably come back out. Eh. I'll leave them there for just a little bit longer. They're not out of battery juice yet, so they should be fine. Do you? No, that's pretty minimal radiation to be honest. Oh, not there, but, you know, 
everywhere else too. Uh, it might be the liquid nuclear waste standing around. That could be an issue. <laughs> it's a damn good game, Shino. Uh, I love me, Oni. I love me some Oni. It's so good. There's very few quality simulators that even come close to this. I still feel like I need to upgrade my computer with an NVMe, just so that way I can actually play this thing at like reasonable frame rates when you get to this point. <laughs> Hey, an armor record. Wait a minute. Uh, Bios is gourmet. Nope. Uh, anemic. Nope. <laughs> Finally, so explode bladder. Alright, you're not terrible, but you don't really have any interest that we care about. But, uh, sorry, Nisbet, Frankie, the printing pod absolutely hated both of you. Uh, on the other hand, it did give you an opera acorn. And an opera acorn means... I can call one in here. And if I get a pip again... I can maybe have the pip try to plant this stupid thing and not have it meteorated out of existence. There's enough soft material that they'll figure out a spot. <laughs> they will find a way. Also, I need to start refilling rockets real quick. Uh, let's stop doing plastic for a little bit. I do need to send probably more, but we do need to come over here and solve the lag problem. So for reference, there is a lot of canisters that are currently underwater, and I don't want to have to deal with them. <laughs> okay, we need to go over there and fix it up. Okay, now on to other more pressing matters. Uh, dupes. Now, oh, Uh, can I do Dark War things? Uh, this is medical stress reaction, binge eaters, that kind of no, since I'm getting food. Well, Binge eater uh, specifically is not really a problem if the stress, if you're dealing with stress, yes. If your dupes are not really caring about it right now, um, mostly because if you have built a nature reserve, you're, if you build a nature reserve, your stress problems are pretty much gone, even on the hardest difficulty. I think the bigger issue would be um, the increased decor um, uh, bonus and not being able to do decor errands is normally a very good trait because the thing is is that your dupe actually gets more benefit out of good areas and less of a negative out of shitty areas. But less medicine, I mean, it really de if that would mostly depend on what their interests are. Like that's not a bad dupe. It just depends on what their actual in like forced interests. are. Are sitting at. Like if they just like operating, and then you, they they come with like say a five or a seven, then by all means go for it. If they're coming in with like ones, yeah, I normally don't recommend it. Like the printing pod can be an evil bastard sometimes. There's really nothing you can do about it. Just how it works. But yeah, weirdly enough, binge eater negative, I, it's not really a big problem in most cases. Mostly because you can kind of just decor bomb certain things, and it does work really well. Like, even basic plants can do quite a bit for you. If you've got arbor trees, then go for it. Overjoyed response, Sparkle Streaker. Sparkle Streaker is amazing. Um, farming for cooking for. Yeah, that's a solid dupe. That's a very solid dupe. Because again, your cook is going to be living in the cooking station, and then sometimes when there's nothing left to cook because they're out of materials early, they're going to go farm. 
Like a lot of my my dupes have farming and cooking. Like most of my cooks are built that way just because of how they function. On priority listings, yeah, you mostly want to max out um, uh, farming, minimal ranching, and um, cooking. You probably want to turn off researching for most dupes that are not researchers. Uh, rocketry, I would, I normally turn off rocketry. It's a force of habit from the base game. Because sometimes your dupes in the base game, when you're not running the DLC, if you don't turn off rocketry, sometimes they can jump on the rocket instead of your actual rocket pilot, and that was always dumb. <laughs> like... Why are you doing this? You are not trained for this. Please exit the rocket at your earliest convenience. <laughs> and let the actual pilot handle this. Go, Bucket, go! Also, Bucket, what is your science right now? <laughs> yeah. 1,120% research speed, 280% skill level, and 140% geotuning speed, with a total science level of 28. New skills, decrease athletics, decrease med is supplying 6, deco 3. Uh, decreased athletics is not good. Athletics is the main thing that your dupes use to get around, and as they walk they gain experience. But if you get them on wheels, they are infinitely better about it. One of the first things you want to actually get on them is 24 athletics. Which is exosuit training plus the suit sustainability plus base skill level of 20. Because 20 is the current cap of duplicants. There are certain mods that do remove the cap and... Yeah, some of those are just insane when you think about it. <laughs> it's like, my dupe could move around at 5,000% speed, and all you see is them just blinking in and out of existence. <laughs> it's like, why? Why? <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, I do find it funny, but it's like, why? Why is this dupe just insane at this point? Let's see, is this one all stabilized now? Hit yeah, 109. Kind of bad, because unconstructive. Uh, if he's unconstructive but not a not a builder, he'll be fine. You probably want to... Well, I'll save this bluntly. Most unconstructors, you want to just put into digging or ranching. At least early on. And we need to come back and finish this uh, space station at some point. On the list of this must be done. How are you guys doing over here in Sifolan? Well, the temperatures are almost up to actually usable levels. It's going to take a while. Even when I'm pounding the freaking iron volcanoes with steam. It's just too much mass. Ugh. I also need to vent out all the bottom CO2 and other remaining gases that need to go. Starts with T3 skill operating, 3, cooking 3. Hmm. Does he actually have an interest for mechatronics? I would assume he does. If he does, then that's okay. I would, I would keep with him. <laughs> well, if you need any tips, the beginning of this series on YouTube, I went over a lot of stuff to help people get their bases started, and massive explanations as to why and how we were doing it in the way that we did. So, that should easily help anyone along their way, with auction included anyway. Uh, dupes, can you guys move the pip? Here. For some reason, he got stuck in there. Bam. Just get him moving. You could.
How is our petroleum supplies? Uh, completely full, it looks like. Nope, nope, never mind. Not completely full. Also, I need to separate that. And again. There we go. If I want to send more petroleum through, we have how much? 20 tons! Okay, yeah, we're good. If I need to process any more free water, I, I know where to do it. You guys still processing all the extra food? <sighs> yep. Okay, yeah, 1.2 million on Fleet Wheat just from our fully autonomous farm. In all honesty, I really don't think we've got that much of an issue to worry about when it comes down to food in most places. I could just Fleet Wheat my way to victory. It's just one of the most compacted autonomous plants that you can run. And it requires no input if you properly plant them. The only input it takes is cooking them up. Yep. Still debating if we want to switch out that over on this planet. Or uh for pa or Drapolo specifically. But Drapolo we made so much fried mushrooms it's I think we're good. So let me I'm gonna maximize the base construction pieces just to get it all made. That'll be readily accessible. I need to that. Okay. Sure, I may or may not have frozen out the area. Yeah, I did. <laughs> A little bit too cold, in all honesty. Now, the more interesting thing is, is I need to connect fluted oxygen. Yeah, we'll have to connect it into here. Which means... Probably going up and over and then through here to get to this pipe. As most of this system is... Well, it's finished. It's no longer needed. And the injection point to space is... Probably need to separate you know that Let's get moved. Needed. I really don't want this going through the gas chamber, so because I'll be transferring heat, that will be bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'll work. Let me dig that up. That way we have a safe way of either side getting the heck uh, in and out. So our dupes don't get stuck. Pretty sure I can leave them to that and I'll be fine. Not completely idiot proof. There's like two areas where I'm like, eh, they could get them st stuck somehow. It'd be really kind of dumb for them to pull it off, but that's the thing. Go ahead. Let me open all these, make sure there's nothing in them. Get those all prepped. Come here. Uh, are you out of power yet? Bucket, finish that one. And then I'm gonna send you right back down. Three, two, one. Start the next one. And we have touchdown. I don't know if that's enough to finish off the complete research and just be done with it today, but I think it is. At least close, anyway. Rockets are still offloading. Eh, oh boy. So very glad that we uh, refined carbon to everything. Come on, bucket. Get in the base. There you go. Oh. Crazy got mildly injured. He's the only one. I'm going to guess Red Bull. Probably got nicked. Oh. They already grabbed the research. Nope, I could throw him right back in. Uh, just, leave, just leave some meal lice in the bathroom. Okay. That is funny. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty funny. Pretty badly, though. There we go. Come on, Bucket. <laughs> Need you to do that one. I think their AI is having a hard time trying to figure out how to do research. Or at least do anything. Finally, we're finally gonna finish it off, and it's like, oh yeah, the game's AI is lagging considerably. There they go. Now, oh. Oni being Oni. Everyone's fine over here. <laughs> Mostly just main base, to be honest. Weirdly enough, it's not actually the pips. 
think that's actually the worst part. So if I hit show navigation, they're completely confined. Actually, uh, most likely it's dupe applications. Most of the critters are completely sealed away in their own little confined zones. So even if we have quite a few of them, if I, I've done this before in my uh, test lab, is I, I made a duplicate of this map, and a lot of the times it's like, oh yeah, let's just check and see how the uh, critters are handling this patch. And you get rid of all of them, and the frame rate does not turn, because <laughs> yeah, it's not the critters most of the time, it's... Well, if you're working with Paku, Paku can total your processor. But, uh, any of the smaller critters, not so much. For some reason, Paku are just extremely resource-intensive. I will never understand why. I get it, they're technically flying the entire time, and Puff's... Like, the way that they interact with the world is very limited. See, when we have this many of them, they don't move around much. So their AI processing doesn't really affect them that badly. Aku constantly moves, so... And it causes some problems. They mostly just kind of float around and... Yeah. <laughs> they move two tiles. That's it. They move one to the right and one diagonal. Fuck it. Come on. You're so close to getting this done. I just want to be done with the research tonight. We waited long enough, we might as well get it done the first stream of the year for Oni. Because why the heck not? My god, you're so fast. And our directorate completed again. Mission successful. That's with the extra researches that they added over time. So another one off the list. Good job, bucket. The last time you will clap because of research. <laughs> Unless the devs add more. Because all of them are done. Mission successful. And we still don't actually use hydrogen rockets, because in the DLC there is no point. <laughs> like, I think that's the worst part about it. Hydrogen is so much slower than nuclear, and reproducing hydrogen is slower than nuclear, because of how nuclear waste works. Thus making hydrogen almost obsolete in the DLC. It's really weird. Like. Flat out, it's very strange. Because in the base game, you need a hydrogen rocket to finish the game. In the DLC, you do not. So you should be using the fastest rockets you can get your hands on to be doing multiple mission launches because every launch counts for more EXP towards your duplicates that can actually launch rockets. So having nuclear rockets is all around just a better option. They also fit within the smaller confines of the map. And that also includes, say, landing over here in Bernalyn, which, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. I, I will never understand why they made nuclear rockets as powerful as they did without buffing hydrogen. Because the hydrogen rockets, in all honesty, they definitely need a buff. Of some kind. Just nobody gets stuck. Yeah, it's it's very strange. Yep, 
So it's just hanging out in a rocket. Uh, you know what, Gene? I need you on mining duty. I want you to go straight. Now. Hello. We've dumped everything. Yep, we're all ready to go. Robot's ready. Full and full. Waiting for Gene to get to the rocket. So we don't actually irradiate the heck out of him. Fire when ready, dupes. Stella. And there goes Gene. We have liftoff. A metric. Wrap load of nuclear fallout. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. check out my markets. Sure, food's good and yeah, good. Alrighty, yeah, they're perfectly reasonably fine. I know my excess nuclear waste. It should be fine. Hey, we're down to 79 degrees. Not great. Improvement. 86 earlier. <laughs> okay, that's that's not bad. Nope. Uh, are we sending water through the system? Yes, we are. Okay. Like a water is being sent everywhere. Uh, dupes. Did you guys sort this problem out? Uh, no. I mean, you're getting closer. <laughs> I guess. Oh man, I'm cold. Hopefully be warm enough. We gotta get the liquid tepidizer sorted. Once it's sorted, we're all good. I'm worried it's not gonna be warm enough to be able to do this efficiently. And I just need mass. That's really the problem. We need enough mass to submerge the liquid tepidizer, and then we can get the hot tub online. <laughs> it's really sad, but that's what we're trying to do. Uh... Ray, where are you digging up? No. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fair. Probably distribute that into the water. Yeah, this planet thankfully has an unlimited water supply, so once you sort food, you really don't need to worry about anything. You might actually start distributing the water elsewhere as well.
Probably squeaky puffs and then go from there. I really only think we're going to have maybe one or two dupes here, though. Because, again, with infinite water, I don't really need that many operations to do that much. So they can just kind of hang out there and enjoy the hot tub. These guys I still got to worry about. Because the only water we can produce is from is from uh, petroleum right now. That's being shipped around to the other planets. And for Palin, we need to start sourcing our own water supply here, which requires sulfur, which... Yeah, we're still using the silver to cool down the magma. It's working. It's just very slow and tedious. I think it's kind of funny is that it works perfectly when this thing runs out. But silver guys just take forever to stop firing off. Yeah, 32 more cycles. Yeah, once this thing cools down enough to where it's not turning to gas almost immediately, um, we should be doing okay. Because I could reprocess this heat. That's the thing. We could set up steam turbines, sap the energy out of this, all the rock, and just bring it all down to about 124 degrees centigrade. Totally reasonable. If I really wanted to take the time to do it, we could. Personally, I'm just like, just vent the excess heat in space. I already had gained access to space on the flipped asteroid. We we reverse cored the entire planet. I still have this area to get rid of. But we made it up to space. We have infinitely renewable power. I just need to sort the water situation. And we also have infinite food now. So and soon the frost buns will outpace everything else. And then we can send the Axis frost buns over to Akelin and start feeding the tree. Because, well, in all honesty, probably should be sending more plant meat. We're at 6.5 million kilocalories of plant meat. And that number is only going to go up because it's free. <laughs> we're, we're making hydrogen from meat. <laughs> and then the meat is excess because... Just how it works. Uh, definitely in a weirder side of things, that's for sure. Not bad. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Some of the byproducts you could make in auction food is nuts. They're wonderful, but they're absolutely crazy in concept. So I'm wondering where we're going to put the utilities. You. Ah, yes. The power control station. Because, I mean, we can't just set that on up inside of couple places that we really wanted to. Or I could just attach it to the sea turbines and just let them go. Uh, a little big though. Could always go in here, but I'd really keep that in a vacuum. Or we could just set it over here in the corner. Yep, dedicated power plant room. Uh, no, do not make it out of that. Make it out of gold, because why not? What was the requirements for a power plant room again? I think they keep changing this stuff. Ah, uh, power control station, 12... Oh, yeah, that, that'll work perfectly fine. 
So yeah, that'll get that achievement done. It does not require that much effort to do this one, thankfully. So, just shove a power control station nearby. Problem solved. Now then, what does our principal have for us? We have coal. We have a Quinn with ranching, bits of minerals, and biohazardous. That's not a bad Quinn. We're way beyond that point ourselves, but if we had him earlier, I would have picked him in almost medium. Yeah, he's pretty good. We have a meat with uh, nectophobic, masterwork, and germ resistant as a decorator. It's not bad. Yeah, no, that's that's not bad at all. A good meat. And Bubbles with suit wearing farming researcher with handy caregiver interior decorator and gastrophobia. Hmm. They're not bad dupes, it's just I don't really think it's worthwhile putting on well, bringing them in right now. As much as I would like another ranching dupe. I can't see where I'd put them. Meep is a maybe. And he's got decorating, and he's got masterworks, but he doesn't have the other two to start off with. Which is actually kind of a hassle, so, hmm. I don't think I can fit him on Butel. I'm rude about we don't have enough water generation to put him. Um, Flipalin, and also not enough water generation right now to put him there. Rudabo, I don't think it's safe to leave him there. At least not yet. Not without cooking. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to ignore meat this time. He's a pretty good dupe, though. I will give him that. Hey, went Quinn. Quinn's on the lower end, though. Still pretty good, though. I like guess definitely a solid dupe for either of those picks. Just don't really have a place for a decorator right now, and also... The only place I could think I could put him is over here. But I need to cook. <laughs> I need to cook to cement the place. Nope. Or water damage. Ah, oh, I got too cold again. It's not powerful enough. <laughs> Almost tempted to shove another speed here over there. <laughs> Just... Ah, ah. <laughs> Just work. Add more heat. Such a dumb thing to do, but it's like... We need it. I need to get this thing online so we can finally have the hot tub working and we can process all of the water. So I want to get this water on up to maximum liquid temperature range and just allow the polluted water to go through it no matter what the temperature is. And when we have a stable source of warm water coming through. Because everything on this planet is cold. Like, really cold. <laughs> uh. Now. Why is Riddle lagging so bad? 
Where's the main base? This planet is tiny. That's weird. Oh, these is kind of hanging out up here. I know you're trying to get your strength up and doing my cleanup duties, but because you'll be fine. You don't need me. <laughs> not for that anyway. Uh, I do need to send glass over actually. I'm looking at it. We need that last node done. Should be manufactured materials. Glass. There we go. Okay, and I'll deliver that whenever they get the chance. Oops, have not built squad over here. Fine, there. Okay. Oops, are coming around. Help. Always good. Everything else should be fine. There really isn't any waste byproduct here besides the infectious polluted oxygen vent. That's really about it. Oh, and the excess water that gets produced due to the resin. If we could process it here. I very much doubt that I will be able to process the resin here effectively. We can try, but there's really only one place I can do that with, and that's here. Hmm. It's really pushing the limit on that. In all honesty. Uh, the petrol's working. That's what matters. Okay. I know. Throw the warning. And be a chugging. Who is the toilet running? Alright, you're 26 out of 26. What do you why are you having such a problem? Uh fault bladder. Are you going to make it? We're not going for the bathroom. Now you are. <laughs> Go. Good job, dude. You didn't piss yourself.
Jack, give me a sec. I think the wind's picking up outside IRL. Yep. Front shouldn't be coming through here for a while longer. It's sped up. <sighs> we may have to finish up here soon, just in case. Uh, it should be getting a cold front through here with uh, a little bit higher than average wind speeds, which can normally take out the internet. So I may need to finish up the episode here. I'd rather not, but I can hear it. <laughs> and that's always a bad sign. Uh, everything else is working out pretty good. Well, that's another achievement off the list. Uh, we are probably going to do a luxury barracks. I'm thinking. I might do it here on Friddle. Probably not. I mean, technically I can put him in there if I really wanted to, to make, make it a thing. Uh... It's probably more likely going to be here on Rudebo. Also because we have enough space. I think I just seal this in and add one in here. You know what? Yeah, screw it. What's the requirements for luxury barracks? to do one of these is purely for the achievement. These beds mostly suck. I mean, they look cool, but they, they really do mostly suck. Oh, we'll do the skinned one. Why not? Is my best team of dupes. Go, guys. <laughs> I wish I had a better green. Like tile.
Uh, you really can't do, can't overlay the two of them together. Come on, dupes. Come on. Nobody's getting the pretty room. gold in here <laughs> to make it look cooler. Actually, don't want to change that one. This thing is built, this will be the uh, other requested one done for the achievement. So close to being done. Come on, dupes, hurry it up. I get another one done before the weather takes us out. Just in case. again. This time with the new rooms. That's not two off the list. And we'll have to ignore Carnivore because this map seed was just, it was not possible before the inadvertent creation of the Cuddlebip. I think this map seed would be possible to do it if we had access to the Cuddlebips before the changes. Now all we have left is Critter Whisperer, which is Gassy Moo. Gassy Moo. We already have the Rift open. We just need to send a dupe there. Cosmic Archaeology. I need to accumulate all of the items from each of the planets and research them. Finely tuned will just happen automatically. Down the hatch, I need to actually... Oh, we need to convert a couple real quick. Job suitability. Technically, it will be slightly tedious, but... I can just shove every duplicate into a suit and then disable the suits like docks and they'll be fine. Uh, first teleport call, obviously, when, we're, when we have the rocket to send the dupe to the rift, we'll activate that so that'll get that finished immediately. 
So really the biggest issue is Cluster Conquest and GMO A-OK. -okay. Everything else is pretty much passively being done already. Yeah, whoever lives on this planet is going to get the nice room. <laughs> whoever I leave here. I probably need to switch out the equipment and shove it down here. And then build a rec room there, I think. Yeah, that's probably part of the plan. bigger problem is processing all the ice. Eventually this will warm up enough to where we can actually use it. It'll just take a little bit more time. Well, I got some pipes like then. Not many. But at least some. Oof. Yeah, the wind outside is definitely picking up. Ah, oh, boy. Trying to sort through everything before anything goes wrong. Uh, make sure all of that... Yes, there was some stuff left over. You back to auto. You back to auto. You... You... Oh. Ah. Yeah. Ah, uh, chat. I think I am going to call it once the autosave finishes here. Same to YouTube. Two thousand cycle. Two thousand eight hundred ninety-six. I would have liked to have gone a little bit farther, but the weather is saying otherwise outside, and I don't trust it. Normally it starts getting pretty bad around this time of year. That does not sound good outside. <laughs> it's like... I'm just waiting for the power to flicker here. I have a battery backup, but obviously we'll lose the router and the modem, because that is not currently on a battery backup, and when that happens, well, there goes the stream. <laughs> Thankfully, Oni would keep going, but... Yeah, I think we're gonna call it here for tonight. Also in a solid one hour and thirty minutes ish. But uh yeah, I'm gonna count that as a victory. Weather notwithstanding, of course. But, yeah. As noted, two more achievements off the list. They're pretty easy to get most of these. GMOK is the really the only problematic child here. Um I'm gonna continue to try I did not have to break my promise originally of maintaining the entire, like, every episode in this series that I have done is uploaded to YouTube. None of it has been edited. Every little bit of it is stakes and all from start to finish. I would prefer to continue doing that, but I do know that there's probably going to be a period where we may have to wait around a while. And some of those episodes may be just minor tweaks to bases, even more so than what I'm doing now. And if that comes to that, we I may end up skipping a couple episodes. But, like, uh, I should say skipping a couple cycles between episodes. As of right now, that is not needed. But I do... There, there is a possibility that might become a thing. I'm just going to say that for now. That 
that may become a problem. Maybe. A flip of a coin, we might have to do it. Probably not, but maybe. Oni can take a while sometimes. So. Really just up to how the game wants to treat GMOK. <laughs> it's really the bigger problem. But yeah, for now, I think we can call this episode here. <laughs>